Okay, so we have a simultaneous equation here. Um, however, we can't start um, working on it because the coefficients of the x and the y's are different. The x's are 3 and 4 and the y are 3 and 5. So I could times top, uh, top by 4 and bottom by 3 to get the x's the same. Or I could get the y's the same by timesing the top by 5 and the bottom by 3. It doesn't really matter. I always focus on the second one. I always focus on the y's unless there's a compelling reason to do the x's. But you'll get the same answer either way. So to get the y's the same, I need to times this top one by 5, and I need to times this bottom one by 3, and then they'll both become 15. So it's times the top one by 5, and we get 15x plus 15y equals, where is it, 75. And then this one becomes uh, 4 times 3, which is 12x plus 15y and then equals 69. Okay, so now we've got the y is the same coefficient. We work downwards. And the rule for simultaneous equations is if you have the same signs, we subtract. Different signs, we add. Here we have 15y and positive 15y and positive 15y. So we're going to, uh, well they're the same, so we're going to subtract. So 15x take away 12x is 3x. 15y take away 15y is nothing. And if you end up with something, you've done something wrong because you need to end up with nothing. 75 take away 69 is going to be 6. So we're going to put our lines in. And we divide both sides by 3 you get x equals 2. But we're only half done because we need to find out what y is. So we just need to substitute that x equals 2 into the one of the equations. I always pick the top one, but it would work just as well with the bottom one. So I'm just going to write that equation out. But with our value of x, and then let's solve it. So that's 6 plus 3y equals 15. Could take away 6 both sides. 3y equals 11, no it doesn't, equals 9, oh. divide by 3 both sides and you get 3. You can check that in the second equation, 4 times 2 is 8, 5 times 3 is 15, 8 plus 15 is 23.